been a while. What's up, adventure gang? I'm so excited. Can we use the heat gun to roast marshmallows? Now I'm just gonna hang out. We seem to have a bit of a coolant leak. Wow, that is very exposed. Um, last time we took out the heater on the inside and needed to top off the coolant. When we got to the bus, it was right at the ad line. Now, since we've moved it, it's gone up a little bit, but I'm gonna need to refill some of that. And you can see underneath the bus maybe that it's still coming out a little bit. So, whoop. It does seem that we have a little bit of a leak. It's hard to see, but right down here, where the hose is connecting there, there's a little bit of a drip. So I'm going to try to tighten up that hose and start with that because it is way colder than we expected today. We were hoping it was gonna be over 40 degrees so that we could start doing work on this floor, but the rust converter needs to be above 40 degrees and we want everything done right, so maybe next weekend on that. I got it twisted tighter than I think it's ever been. Hopefully that's enough to stop the leak. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to call a professional because clearly that'll be outside my wheelhouse. Seeing that that hose clamp loosened up over time does give me a little bit of worry because of the fix we had here. This seems sturdy now. It hasn't leaked at all in the time. I mean, it's been, what, a month? We've moved it a few times. But if these clamps loosen up, it's possible that we could be leaking coolant underneath our floor because we planned on just insulating over this and having it sit under our flooring, but that might be an issue if someday there's coolant leaking out from underneath and we don't even know. So it's possible that we'll need to find a better solution for that, but let us know if you have any better ideas. So here I am, back under the bus. I've decided that tightening the hose clamp probably wasn't enough. So I think where this was tightened, it was actually splitting the hose. I guess maybe you can over tighten it and that's what the person before me did. But there's plenty of room, so I'm gonna try to just move it back farther along here so it's behind where it was splitting it before. And hopefully that will be a better fix. So Gavin did a quick fix on where we were seeing the coolant leak from under the bus. I'm going to check on it. It's been a couple hours um, to see if it's been leaking at all. Hopefully his fix helped. Let's see. All right, so these drips were there earlier. So I don't think that's any new drip from the hose. I think we're in the clear. I just need to clean this coolant up off the ground. Now we're going to make sure that we are very careful about washing away the spot that has dripped because apparently the brilliant scientists that came up with this coolant formula not only made it look like Kool-Aid, but they thought it would be a good idea to make it taste like Kool-Aid. It is sweet, it is toxic, dogs love to lick it and then die. <laughs> so always make sure you clean up your mess. No poison for you. No poison for you. Good boy. It's about 10.30, around noon maybe I'll say. I'll see how it's feeling and if I can do the rest converter. Until then, on cold days, we're just gonna keep removing decals. I'll never tell. For sure, never have to close the door. Been a long time, a year before. And Only so bad. 30 more letters to go. Every show I go before, I need to hear that voice. Cause right now it feels like it's been too long. And since it's too cold to do anything, I'm gonna tape out our layout. <laughs> Told you hate the month of May. Could have never told you that. Maybe I could keep you here someday. But we come apart. Didn't mean to steal that time you had. Could have never planned. So, taping is complete. 
we have our potential floor layout. Let me give you a tour. We enter the bus, walk up our stairs. First thing here is gonna be our passenger seat. This is where I'll sit while Gavin's driving. Then straight across from that, we'll have our shower stall. This is where we'll keep our composting toilet and have our shower all the way up to the ceiling. As we walk next to the shower, we're going to have our kitchen. This is our sink area. This would be our stove area. And then across from our kitchen is our couch. And we wanna make a modular couch that could you know, be uh, used as a guest bed or maybe as a booth with a table that gives us a little bit extra counter space. This is our walkway. It's about two feet wide, enough for two people. Back here, we've got an area for our wood stove. We've got space for storage, potential closet, cabinets, pantry. And then at the back, this is where our bed will be. So our bed will be you know, higher up and then underneath we'll have lots of storage or you know, the garage as people call it. And that's it. So none of these measurements are accurate. It's all just to kind of get a feel for what the bus could be like, uh, how much space we could have if this is what we do. But yeah, it's super exciting to kind of see a layout in place. Emily has to work this Friday while I'm here working on the bus to take advantage of the warm weather. And I also had to pick up my parents' dogs from daycare, so we're all very excited for their first ride in the bus. We're home. They were great. All right, have a good day at school. Bye. This morning it is almost 60 degrees, much better than last weekend where we left this too cold to do anything to the floors. So this morning I'm gonna peel up all of the nice tape work Emily did trying to get our layout and I'm going to put rust converter on all of the surfaces that need it. We scraped all the rust off and I've really done a good job of vacuuming and cleaning all the debris up from the floor. So hopefully we can get the, all this rust converted and maybe this afternoon, if not tomorrow, we'll be able to paint the floor. Very excited for that. So the rust converter we're using is a pretty common one. It's called OSFO and all it's going to do is take all the surfaces that were rusty and make them a smoother black surface that won't flake off and won't continue to rust so that we don't have to worry about it getting worse underneath all of our flooring and stuff. Rust is like a cancer, it'll spread, it'll keep growing. So we wanna nip it in the bud before that starts. So I'm just gonna paint a bunch of that on anywhere that it looks like there is rust, anywhere that we scraped off with the wire brush and that'll take a few hours to dry probably. So let's get to it. This has phosphoric acid in it, so I'm gonna go get some gloves. You don't fall too much, but I fall apart. All right, that's all the rust converter down. It sounds like the whole bus is sizzling on the inside and that is the iron oxide, which is your rust converting into iron phosphate. That's the main ingredient in the rust converter, phosphoric acid, making that conversion. So there's a lot of bubbling happening in that iron. Quick update on the rust converting. Every spot in the bus is looking super great. All the rust is turning black, except the one spot where I was most worried about it. Next to the driver's seat, that spot was staying staunchly red. So I've actually, I dried off the rust converter and I just hit it with the angle grinder brush again to try to get down to anything that's red that's left. And I'm gonna put another coat of rust converter on it. Left the shop vac running the whole time so that I was minimizing the dust that would get on the other areas, but everywhere else is pretty dry. It's just curing, I guess. So hopefully round two will go better than round one for that spot. Everywhere else is looking great though. Hello, hello, this is Editing Emily here to explain what Gavin's doing in this clip. 
Here you can see him filling the holes left in the bottom of our bus from where we removed all the screws. We used pennies and silicone to cover up all those holes and then he's going to leave them overnight to cure so that we can paint over top in the morning. All right. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Come down. <laughs> perfect. So we've been waiting for what feels like months <laughs> to paint our floor and it is finally warm enough. It's 46 degrees out and we're ready to paint. So we finished siliconing down all the pennies um, last night, this morning, and the floor is all patched up and ready to go. Ready to paint. <laughs> For sure, you never have to close the door. Been a long time, a year before, and I'm missing you so bad. Gone away, I want the more. Every show I go before, I need to hear that voice. Cause right now I feel like it's been too long. I could never let We finished painting the floors most of the way. There's a few couple spots uh, that need to be touched up tomorrow, but for the most part, the floors are painted. My parents actually are gonna stop by tomorrow and bring some floor samples, um, just like a wood look, kind of like vinyl flooring. So that'll be super exciting to pick out the actual floor that's going to be in our house. And I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been watching our bus build so far. We're having a ton of fun making these videos. We're learning a ton. Uh, so we would love if you guys could subscribe to our channel. Make sure to like the videos, leave a comment. It really helps us out a lot. Um, also, if you're interested in just like following our day-to-day -day progress, we post a lot over on our Instagram, Adventure Trudge, so you can check us out there too. Gavin's still hard at work on the decals, so I thought I'd do what any good fiance slash bus building partner should do and roast him a marshmallow. Beautiful, thank you. My parents are here, say hi dad. Hey, hi, hi. And they brought samples. So now we get to decide which floor will be our floor. Mom's favorite. <laughs> which one's that? I don't know, it's uh, honey lime dash. Ooh, honey lime dash. Sounds tasty. And mom is hard at work. How's it going? Hi, loving it. Good job. Now I'm allowed to sleep a night in the bus. Exactly. No secrets you're keeping, these promises strong as a spell. I'll never Thanks for watching this week's episode. We are so excited to have our floors painted and we're hoping to start doing our flooring next week. So next week's gonna be big. Psyched to have the warm weather. Psyched to finally be making some real progress on this. See you next week. Thanks.